Alara. Um, nice start here. Um, all your um, individual drawings are really good. You know, your flag didn't come out up because um, I think that it's just an image. You can't use attached image images. Yeah, there it is. Whenever there's a an X like that, that means there was an image there. And it does kind of make sense because that's right where that flag is. So be sure to, um, you know, draw the flag if you're going to use it. So, um... Your drawings look pretty good, but what's missing is um, how you're going to unify this all together. Um, the dark green, everything's kind of dark down here, but then the top is bright. So what, what that does is it makes the bottom really heavy. So um, you may want to use some lighter colors for the bottom too. Um, so I would not use this kind of type. I would use kind of a just, I would use a stylized font, but I would use something, you know, that was easier to read and I'd make it a lot bigger. And um, I would put, I mean, cause I, I looked at some Cumberland Island um, and I would put like, you know, na um, National Seashore or something like that. Um, you could keep the Georgia too. Another thing, um, that's missing is any indication of, of the sea since it's an island you may want to add that because I mean if you, you know if you're gonna use this for a portfolio piece and some of you know you get um, you know you get an interview and they're wondering why some of these attractions aren't in there um, so again <clears throat> just you know you can just do some more research um, I actually think that this is kind of a cool idea uh, like having the island and then again, you know, it's showing, it's not showing that one building, but, you know, it's showing the horse and bicycles and so on. But again, you could just put something like Cum Cumberland Island National Sh Seashore. That's going to, you know, kind of clue people in. I mean, you don't have to do that. You can also, you know, just show, um, let me see if I can find any. Um, you can just show some, um, uh, you know, my Chrome has been really acting up. Um, I had another one. You could just show some c seashore in um, in the graphic too. So you could um, you could show just some sand or something and kind of angle it a little bit. So then you could put you know because you don't really need to do much to your other attractions since they look really good. Um, but just something to indicate that they're you know that. I don't know, you know, the, just to indicate that it's it's an island and there's a lot of island activities. So I think that's really pretty important. So you might want to add that. Um, and again, there's so many different ways you can do it. Um, you know, you can um, just do like a seashore thing, like coming from the side or, um, you know, or something like that. Um, and again, I would consider... I. I would do a gradient or something in the background and also add some clouds, not just right there, but just around in the top because that will really work to um, unify it. Um, let me see, where's your other? Um, um, I would bring the text down a little bit because it's really close to the top. And centering doesn't is not always a, a good idea. I was going to show you some other um, student posters just to give you some some ideas. Um, again, note the clouds how they're kind of dotting large and small. Um, so the clouds and the color is what's unifying this. Um, obviously the building's not blue, but it, but the color works for what, what she's trying to do. This is unified by this big firework in the middle, and also color. You've got the repetition of the black, and that's really working. Um, you know, this layout is really nice. The curve looks excellent. Um, I mean, you could do something like this and have this just be like the just the seashore and then just show water, but the black on the dark blue doesn't work. Um, you know, something you could do something like this, even though this is a river. But if you hold your hand over just one, this last side, it it looks like it could be a shore of something. So that's another possible layout. Um, you know, this one came out good, but it's got too much color and it's too cluttered. You can also use um, just lower saturated color, and that will also help. Again, um, this you know the buildings aren't purple, but it works with her um, color scheme. And this is a really good gradient kind of sunset color. 
just the gradients always light to dark because that's just the way the sky looks. Um, so this is another one with the clouds and see the gradient, but again, this red text is terrible, but everything else lo looks pretty good. You know, note how the, the ripples are bigger in the foreground because they're closer, right? Um, this one could be okay, but there's too much text in the bottom here. But again, you can see the gradient sky. I mean, if this didn't have this text, it would look a lot better. So, and note the way the, um, you know, what, the way the type is at an angle. It's not just head on straight across. You can, you know, you can create a path too, just like in that skill builder and, you know, make it kind of on a curvy path if you wanted to. Um, so anyway, um, I hope, yeah, if you have time, you should go to the iConnects, I mean, this, the WebEx meetings, because they're really, they've been really helpful. Um, and be sure to get all the elements drawn in. Um, so you, you have kind of a lot of work to do to, to make this look like a unified finished poster, but, you know, you don't have so much because you've already drawn everything out, so you're way ahead of the game in, in reference, in, you know, in terms of that. Um, okay, so anyway, I hope this feedback, this feedback helps. You can always grab me on um, Google Hangouts or email me if you have questions. I'm always happy to give feedback if you get another version and can't go to the iConnect um, meetings, I mean the WebEx meetings, okay?